Um, I wanted to do a little video. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't show the exact video, but um, I just cut my stock exhaust. And I did it with this trusty handsaw. You know, I got some extra blades right there. So, um, here is the stock. Um, here's the stock exhaust. We'll say about eight and a quarter with the extra tip on. Um, maybe not. Go ahead and mark 11 inches right here. 11 inches right there. So I took off 11 inches. And if you do that the exact way I did it, you'll notice that you're going to skip the, um, the baffles, these three baffles. I cut the 11 inches and the tip. The tip came out to be um, half an inch. So it came out to be half an inch. So when you put that right on there, boom, that's gonna go like that. Of course, I'm gonna rivet it in and you know do what I have to do. But I'm gonna make a second video going with this one. I just put it on the bike and I wanna let you guys know it sounds awesome. I mean, I did not know it was gonna sound this good. I really did not know it was gonna sound this good. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna come back with another video. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this. I'm gonna have it looking all good. I'm gonna make sure I try to rivet this in and you know get it in right. And then I'll bring you the next video coming up with the sound and everything. And it sounds awesome, you guys. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, here we go with the finished product. Um, you guys can check it out. Um, so what I did was in my previous video, I showed you that I cut it. What I did was uh, rivet it together. I painted it black, um, high temperature paint. And what we about to do, we about to do a startup. Sounds real good. So if any of you guys out there that has a Yamaha or any other bikes, instead of buying expensive exhaust, cut it in half and just, you know, put it together, do a little project. And that's what I went ahead and did.